In this video, we're going to show you how to control pixel tape using an S-Type. For this example, I'm going to need the S-Play, Antec Pixie Driver, 12 volt, some pixel LED tape, a DMX table, and lastly, a push button switch to trigger my sequence. But first, I'm going to take my S-Play and find DMX port 1. Grab my DMX cable, connect the output, to the input on my Pixie driver. My display is now connected to my Pixie driver via the DMX port. Then I connect my LED tape to the output of the Pixie driver. So now I have my display connected via DMX to the Pixie driver and the Pixie driver connected to the LED tape. And lastly, I'm going to connect my trigger option, which is my little push button. The last thing I have to do now is apply power to the Pixie Driver. The light on the Pixie Driver is blinking, meaning it's receiving DMX. Now everything's connected, let's hop onto the computer and show how to program something like this. The S-Play is a very capable unit. But to get the most out of it, there are a few terms we need to be familiar with. So let's go over that together now. Home. On the home page, you will see your playlist and schedule. There isn't anything here yet, but we'll be coming back to this once we've populated it in one of our next episodes. Cues. These are the basic building blocks of your shows and what you record into the S-Play. Cues can be static, which is a fixed light output, for example, a solid green color, or dynamic, a moving recording where a colour, brightness or both changes are over a time you specify. Triggers. They allow you to start cues and playlists inside your S-Play. The range of triggers we have available is one of the main reasons we are so excited to show you this unit. We have the typical array of options like DMX, ArtNet, Streaming ACN and RS232 that you may have seen in some of our other products. But one of the most versatile are the digital inputs, which lets you easily connect this to an existing relay system or motion sensors. Events. These are used to specify information being transmitted out of the unit, allowing you to activate or trigger an external device. Just as with triggers, events have a few protocols like DMX, ArtNet, Streaming ACN and RS232. But we also have two relay outputs that can either be normally open or normally closed events to trigger your external device. Such devices could include simple systems like an on-off switch to something more complex like a pump, air valve or even a potato cannon. Playlist. When you've got the hang of cues, triggers and events, you can combine them into sequences and arrange them into groups on a timeline which you can save as playlists. And lastly for this video, we have the web interface. While the front LCD display is convenient for quickly establishing what your S-Play is doing, to maximize its potential, you'll want to familiarize yourself with the device's web interface. You can discover the unit on your network by using Entex NMU software. Clicking on it will open the device's homepage, or alternatively, you can connect to the unit by opening a web browser and entering the unit's IP address. Conveniently, this is shown on your unit's LCD display upon booting. So now we've finished on the computer, let's hop back to the device and see what the end result is. This video explained a pretty simple setup of the S-Play driving a pixel tape. If you want to know more about the S-Play or interested about more complex applications, make sure you check out our next videos where we're going through advanced user cases using the S-Play for bigger systems, more universes, more inputs. The S-Play is available now. Check on our website, entech.com, 
or you can contact any of our dealers to get information about this product.